All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City day, almost like a Chamber of Commerce kind of day. We're going to walk around and tell you about a really neat Buick Special, four-door sedan, bustle-back sedan, part of a state, really a neat car. Um, we're going to walk up and tell you what we know. There's a little show plaque here that goes in the trunk of the car. Kind of gives you an idea of what's underneath the hood. Uh, a lot of high-end... Uh, professional type craftsman work on this car just a very nicely done car really a true resto rod nicely done finished in a maserati bordeaux so it's a really cool kind of burgundy-ish wine-ish color with a high grade a uh, lot of metallic in it kind of get a feel there very much a true resto rod it's done it retains all its factory chrome, so on and so forth, but there's a lot of neat things underneath the hood and underside. We're going to share a lot with you, like we typically do. We'll ask you to go to Spud's Garage and take a look at the photos, the still photos that we have there. This over-the-hill gang license plate frame will stay with the owner. Uh, the club members don't like to let those go out. The grill here is a factory-style grill, so you kind of, as you look at the trim on a car like this, it kind of gives you an idea of what the car was like prior to its restoration. It is a factory grill teeth here. They have just a little bit of character and patina. Same with the headlight rings here and the hood trim. This is not reproduction stuff here. I love doing cars like this because they're a lot of fun. It's got cool old school pinstriping. It kind of, you know, here and there, just tastefully done. Lines, letters, lines, and designs here in Lake Havasu did that paint job is very professional the hood here is kind of neat because it's got a root lip des design hood on it um, you know a hot rod style hood on it but it looks factory because typically it would have been like you know these two pieces on this side lift up and you put a big rod there anyway it has a it releases inside and then it'll lift either from the passenger side or the driver's side with releases interior or you can take the hood off all the way it's called the Gangster. We uh, maybe mentioned that already, or you saw it on the sign there. And it really looks like a cool, just a family-style hot rod. Just cars like this are just fun. I did one of these about a little over a year ago, uh, 37 or 38. Very similar car. Um, sold fairly quickly. Family-style hot rods are really hard to find. Um, this one's got seat belts front and rear, Howard fabricating interior in it, which is a, a true leather high-end. We're going to share that with you. Again, just old school pinstriping here. There's brand new tires on it. They're Toyos. That's not a cheap date right there. 205 uh, 70R15s in the front. Again, true spoke wire wheels on it. There's a huge build file that goes with this car. With all the receipts, operation manuals, that kind of thing. Uh, rubberized factory running boards. Take a peek at the door handles here. Again, these are original. So they have just a little bit of character and patina to them, but not, you know, nothing that detracts from the car. And I think that actually gives them good character. Uh, it has a uh, V-butted windshield in the front here. You'll see that. It has air conditioning. These are SoCal style uh, hot rod uh, swan neck style mirrors. We're going to open up both doors here for you. Kind of plenty of excess room to get in there little bit of a hill here so that door wants to swing back in just a little bit all the woodwork full woodwork has been done inside here very nicely done um, all the fat full respect to the original design of this car was paid to it has a neat little console here that has Bluetooth audio Sirius XM capable generation 2 air conditioning Factory AC vent or an AC vent there, an AC vent here so you can blow it on the passenger. And also, they even thought about this console. There's one down here that'll blow some air towards the back passengers. Um, it has a Oldsmobile tilt tele steering column in it, which is kind of neat. Again, this is a uh, high-end leather. It has dual power seats in the front. They will not work unless the key's on because it takes power to do that. Has a uh, suede style, uh, leather style interior in it. I mean headliner. I'll get it out this morning. You gotta love that split back window. Back seat, again, all seat belts for your passengers, your friends, ladies, gents. Take them for a ride. Grandkids, I know that's one of the reasons he put the seat belts and stuff in it was uh, grandkids to go for a spin. Anyway, retractable seat belt in the front here. 
both sides we're going to shut the doors here and you'll kind of get a really nice feel boom really nice again this is all steel and it's a maserati bordeaux back tire size i know we covered the front is a 225-70R15, again Toyo, so matching tires front and rear, not size-wise, but brand-wise. That's not a cheap date. Get a really nice feel of the reflections in the side of this car. It has a uh, pop-up style fuel door here with a push-in gas release kind of thing. Remember, I do this all one-handed, so Nice little Buick tail lights. Again, full respect to the originality design of this car. It is a true resto rod with an upgraded powertrain and interior. Looks uh, factory stock from the outside. Again, gold leaf uh, here, little leaf plating here, old school pinstriping. It's got a Sirius XM receiver here. This is a factory license plate light, brake light. We're going to open the trunk here. I'll leave it open as we go through this, but you'll see that's that's locked. Opens. Letters, lines, and designs did the... Uh... Okay, we got it open. Just like the interior is finished in a, a leather combo. German square weave carpet. Bumperettes, all the bumpers in the back. We'll fire this old girl up for you here. Step back, give you a feel. With the deck lid open, plenty of room in the trunk there for uh, quite a few sh uh, show chairs, maybe a little uh, case of wine, Bordeaux or Merlot. See the old school striping here. Um, very tasteful, very tasteful. It's kind of a gray, gray black, you know, colors. You see the back seat, loads of room in the back seat of this thing. So you can definitely take the uh, executives out in style, put it that way. Put their luggage in the trunk too. To the front here, why don't we go ahead and shut this back door. Boom. They All the doors shut nice. Uh, a lot of time was spent on this body, I can tell. Um, all the, the woodwork, the full grain woodwork on it. We'll actually fire it up for you and take a test drive here and go over the gauges and stuff. Dual power seats. They work when the key's on. Tilt tele steering column. I know I'm double covering stuff because I cover both sides of the car. Headlight switch here. Airbag, air ride controls. We've got it down. The bag's set pretty low right now just for the look and the feel. Beautiful. Just neat. Old school Delco uh, uh, thermometer, it looks like. The AC, there's a generation two vintage AC. We turned it on when we ran over here. Um, audio system, nice little cup holders. The dash is a uh, Dakota digital style classic instruments. Uh, all the gauges are all brand new. A lot of this car is all brand new, and in fact, it only has test miles on it. But with that said, uh, all the gauges work. We'll cover those on the drive. I'm telling you about them now because when the air compressor kicks on here, it uh, makes it so you can't really hear me. Um, and then once it shuts off, everything's good. Anyway, the G the Speedo itself has not been calibrated to the car, but again, the car only has test miles on it, and you will have to include uh, setting this up yourself or having somebody set it up. The, the book is included with the car. All the indicators work. These shift indicators will show you that. Anyway, I'm going to have a, uh, fire this old girl up so you can hear it run, and you'll hear the... The air ride compressor, come on. It kicks off as soon as it uh, fills up the air tanks in the car. Uh, we let all the air out. It has ne neat little defroster vents here. We turn it on. We move it all the way over to defrost. The defrost vents work like they're supposed to. Cold. A lot of air blowing out of this thing. A little cover here. A little dome light is what that is, a little map light. A 
We're gonna let you hear it run. Invite you in. You never know there's a 440 under the hood of this curl. Anyway, I'm thinking we you get the idea. Get in, hang on to the end of the video. We're definitely gonna cover it up on a lift for you here. Talk to you soon. Okay, we've got it fired up here. We let the air compressor uh, run and uh, fill up the airbags, so on and so forth, the tanks. We're gonna share with you raising it up just a little bit. Um, get you back inside here. Share a couple things with you. During the video photo shoot, we had the bag set right about 50 or so. You could drop it all the way down a little bit more. You'll see the shift indicator works. Anyway, we're gonna raise these up. Notice there's no compressor on. We're gonna raise it up here, probably at about 75. It's kicking on now. Maybe about 75 or 80. I should get out and show you the ride. That's probably, during my testing, that's probably where you want to drive it at. Still got a good look and feel. Just raises it about an inch or two. You could raise it a lot higher. We raise it a lot higher for the next segment. Anyway, talk to you soon. All right, we're back behind the wheel here. Wanted to share with you. We're taking a little drive back. Notice the uh, shift indicator works here. I want to show you this switch here. Doesn't really need it. We're going to show you all the gauges are working. Again, notice the compressor's off. Uh, running about, you know, 175, 185. Amp gauge is working. Temp gauge is working. Oil pressure gauge is working. Shift indicator here. See it goes reverse. Again, odometer in up. Needs to be set or calibrated. There's a switch right here. If you need additional cooling, you'll notice it's got a red light on it. That there is an additional cooling fan should you decide to need it. And I would put it on when you have the air on. I think it kicks it on anyway. But the air blows cold. We're going to leave it off. Take her for a little drive here. We're going to drop her down in the drive. Nice torquey 440. We got the bag set up where we wanted them. There's a gangster style family cruiser for you. Anyway, beautiful day here in Havasu. Hang on to the end of the video. Talk to you soon. All right, let's take a look at the trunk. Just like the interior of the car and the rest of this little car here, uh, labor love in this car. Howard Fabricating uh, Fabrications did the interior on it. It's known for his high-end interiors. We've already mentioned that to you. Um, all nicely done leather, combination of leather. German, German square weave carpet here in the back, just like the interior of the car. That little show sign goes with the car. We probably, again, already covered that. Sometimes I do these segments before the others. Deck lid here. Sorry for the sunlight there. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. There's plenty of room back there for a little uh, wine. Have a good day. All right, we got it back at the house here because it's a little easier to get the hood up here. Um, to share with the engine compartment. Really neat, nice and tidy, caddy style air filter. It is a 440 Chrysler. It has an Offenhauser intake manifold, Clay Smith camshaft in it. You'll see the vintage air here, Generation 2. Mobar distributors up on the front right there. Has a custom built body color uh, fan shroud on it. Hood sides. Again, this is the type of hood that can open from either side. We're only going to do one side on it as a part of the video to give you a feel. But there's a rod that typically holds it here and it connects up here. The reason I'm not using it is so I can raise the hood higher. Anyway, it has uh, factory exhaust manifolds here with dual exhaust. All the wiring's nice and tidy underneath the hood. Power steering, MSD blaster coil, 727 torque flight. Anyway, make sure you hang on to the end of the video where we're gonna definitely cover a lot more. Kind of give you a different perspective here from the front. You'll notice that the air filter itself is also Maserati Bordeaux. It has old school pinstriping on it there. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. All right, we raised it all the way up so we could really kind of give you an outdoor feel here of uh, the undercarriage. We have it up on the lift, but we know the audio messed up, so it's going to be silent when we get it up on the lift, but you'll get a feel. Uh, 
fully body off restoration, front disc brakes here, fully independent IFS power steering, front suspension, has uh, rack and pinion steering, tubular control arms, again brand new rubber, disc. Kind of give you a feel here. Just a neat done little car. Noticed a tiny little ding here when I did the walk around. I didn't notice it, but this car is literally uh, just a tiny little chip. I wouldn't even call it a ding. Anyway, uh, looking at the undercarriage here, it's a 440. There's a 727 torque flight. It's got nice dual exhaust on it. And again, you'll see the lift, undercarriage lift uh, video in just a moment. Four bar rear suspension, four nine inch rear differential. Dual exhaust. We already covered the tire sizes for you here. See the rear end, the suspension here in the back. Again, airbag. Raises up and down. We've got it set pretty high so we could get all this done for you. See the nine inch there. Drum brakes in the rear. All new Toyo radial rubber. This car's just nicely done. Uh, a lot of labor and time in it. Um, you'll see how nice the reflections as I walk around here on the outside of the car. Look at that. That Bordeaux is a really neat color. Again, uh, hang on, we'll get you up on the lift here. Just wanted to share it with the outside where I could talk about it just a little bit. There you go. Have a great day. Hang on to the end of the video. Go to Spud's Garage.